School of Fly Fishing Virtual Fly Fishing Academy, your number one resource for fly fishing education and knowledge. Hi, Mike Sandiver here with Northwest School of Fly Fishing Virtual Fly Fishing Academy. Now, you know, I've been on the river many, many times when there's bugs flying all over the place, or I'm on the river and all of a sudden I see aquatic insects flying all over the place, and, and, I, and I try to catch one, and I take my hat off, and I try to get it, and, you know, try to scoop the fly out of the water, it's almost impossible. But it's really, really important to us as, as fly fishermen that we identify exactly what that fly is on the water and what these fish are doing. Uh, it's real simple. Uh, the equation for catching trout is sea fish rising figure out what they're eating and give it to them. We have to figure out what it is these trout are eating and, and specifically what size. So some tips to you uh, today and, and, and what I use, and there's a mirror out of things that other anglers use, but what really works for me is I like to use a little shrimp net. And what I have here, this is a shrimp net. It just looks like this. And the neat thing about this shrimp net is this is designed to, to pick off just a specific bug. And, it and it's telescopic, so I can have it in my shirt. Now instead of me trying to reach down there or reach over and grab something, uh, I can just take my net and just scoop it right out of the water. And the net itself is white and fine mesh, and then I can look at the, at the live insect right in with a white background, and now I can identify exactly the size that this uh, bug is and really verify uh, that I'm making the correct assumption in what I see flying around. Uh, the second way you can do this is that a lot of times on a river you'll see fish rising, but you don't see any adults on the water. And, and, you're, and you're, you're questioning, what is this? They're eating. And there's obviously they're eating, they're rising and feeding all over the surface. I can't see any of aquatic adults on the water. Uh, the next technique and final technique you want to use is called a seam. A seam. And, and the, the, the cheapest way to get a scene is at Home Depot. Uh, I get a five, you can get a five gallon one, or you get a one gallon one. I use them both. Uh, and all they are are strainers for the paint bucket. Uh, so if you go in the paint department at Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, and you go to the paint area, they'll have these there. And they're, they're to put on a bucket so that it can strain the paint. And what we use them for is around our net. Uh, so in my particular case, I'm just going to take a five gallon strainer, like that. And it looks something like this, with a plastic band. I'm just going to take my net, wherever it may be, and I'm going to cover my net with a strainer. Just like that. Kind of give it a couple twists around. And now I can lay this in the water for however long I want it to be there. I can pick it up and I can actually see aquatic insects right now that I just strained. Uh, so the closer you are to the seam where these fish are feeding is really where you want to put that in. But I can see right now quite a few little bugs on the water and some other uh, leaves and things. But just, you can see how clear it is, just by leaving, leaving that net in there. Uh, now this is a, a, a five gallon one. Uh, you can get the one gallon one, which I often use. It looks identical to this, simply only goes to about right here. So, eliminate that mystery. Uh, many times in the winter on the Wahi River, where there's fish rising everywhere, you don't see anything. Uh, uh, you have assumption that they're eating uh, winter midges uh, you can strain the water, and that's important because you can strain the water and you'll see these midges these trout are eating, but more importantly, you're going to see the size of the midges these are, uh, fish are eating, and you'll be able to match the size more than the pattern. So, next time you see all that happening, okay, uh, reach in your pocket or your vest to you grab your little seam net, your little shrimp net, and these are called shrimp nets, and they are retractable, so they're online and get your paint seen and start doing some homework. Until then, I'll see you on the river.